Hey guys, out here digging with the doc. He's uh, about, uh, he's more than six feet from me. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're out here doing some bottle digging today. I'm already down in the pit, as you can see. And uh, I got it kind of cleared out for the last time we were out here. And uh, I'm going to get to it. Got my handy dandy shovels, my knife, and all that stuff. So, hoping to pull something good out here today. So, when I do, you'll be the first to know. Looks like I got a pretty good one sitting right there. But you guys can see, let me turn this a little bit. And uh, looks like it may be a soda bottle of some sort. Uh, the base is still there and it's pretty tight in there, so I can't even turn it. But uh, obviously, it goes back a little way, so get you guys to join me while I finish digging this thing out. Trying to get down underneath it, maybe to come out a little bit easier. Got this little small knife here instead of my shovel. It's really back in here too, so I'm definitely aware of this thing caving in on me. Still not loose. It would be something if it was a ketchup bottle. <laughs> Dug a few of those today. And it's really tight in there. Alright. I need to lay down and get in here. Still, still pretty tight. Hopefully, it's a good sign. There we go. There we go. It's turning. Please be whole. Ah, what is that? What is that? Well, so we got us that. Amber medicine. Yeah, well, still, it's a pretty color. Holding amber medicine out of right there, and uh, while I was knocking it down, something else fell out. You can see right there. I figured I'd get it on film. Oh. Yeah, it just looks like an unembossed honey. Uh, no, wait a minute, it is embossed. What does it say on it? Thirty Fanola wafers. Does it say up, John? Huh? That is up. Uh, Fanolax wafers up, John. That's cool. You guys see that? All right. I really like that. I thought it was just gonna be nothing. That's a beautiful honey amber uh, embossed bottle. I'm gonna go show the doctor because he's calling me over there. Let's go see what he's got. Alright, let's go check on Doc here. He says he's got something. I don't know what it is. Some kind of wine bottle, I believe. It's shaped like a like a bowling pin. It's got a little chip on the top. Man, that is super cool. The wow man. 
That is awesome. I can't believe you got that thing out of there. I can't either. I don't. If anyone knows what this is, comment, please. Thank you. Put Good. attention dock. Attention dock. Very important. Urgent. Oh, <laughs> and we all know what this is, right? Soap tray. It's a soap dish, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good job. Well, that's all I have so far. So here's these four bottles we just pulled out of there. Not sure. Some sort of condiment jar on embossed med there and uh, this is a cold cream cures the coronavirus and then a ketchup bottle all right so i'm still in this same seam that I, that I abandoned for a little bit this one's a looks like it's a square bottle with a cork top on it, it may just be a shoe polish but you never know Hey, it's got embossing on it. There we go. It's also got water in it. Alright. So you can't get this cleaned up a little bit here. This is, uh, we'll put in the shade Hessig Ellis Drug Company, Memphis, Tennessee. That's cool. I don't have any of these, uh, the square ones. Ooh, this one feels brittle too. I hope it doesn't break. I don't see any cracks in it though. It's just really, really light. Nice, uh, nice cork top though. It's a keeper. So we keep pulling all these whiskey flasks out, and they just say one half pint. Uh, they're paper labels. We we don't ever find these though, which is really exciting. And uh, I just thought it was gonna be nothing, so I've kind of already messed with it. But let's get out there together, guys. Check this out. That is, it's an embossed. It was like an embossed whiskey flask. Uh, Am Ambuchetti and whoa, almost dropped it. Ambuchetti and Company, Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> That's really cool. It looks nice too. Hopefully, it stays together. <laughs> I almost broke it. I hit it with the shovel. Anyway, let's keep going. So right behind that whiskey flask, there's another one sitting right there. I wonder if we got another embossed one. Try to get them because this one's just not laying the same as the other one was. Would have a thick layer right there on top of it. Look, there's another one right there, too. You guys see that one? Yeah, it's another one, too. At least the bottom's embossed, it feels like. In there, let me get the knife. Is there another one behind it, too? That'd be incredible. There we go, that one's out. Is it an embossed flask? No, it's just another flask. Fill it with water. that that's out, we should be able to get this. Yeah, there we go. And, it's not embossed. 
What about that bottom part? A full half pint. So the other one was, I think there's another one right there too. The other one was uh, first boss one. You get all those other other ones. Man, oh man, that's another bottle right there. I'm sitting there smacking with my shovel. One, two, three. One, two, three. Play a song. Three boy mice. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. Well, there's one above it, and that's broken. It's a pretty one, too. I didn't break that one. That's my story, anyway. Man. I keep getting deep in here. Yeah. Uh, I hear the crunching above me. about to fall in. Alright. Alright, that one's out. Uh, amber. I think it's unembossed. I'm set it to the side there. If we get that plate out. There we go. Man, that's really in there. There we go. Got it. Please be, it's embossed. You guys, it's embossed. Oh, man, is that a embossed amber? Get all that water out. Yeah, it sure is. Clover's Imperial... Is that mange remedy? Yep. You get one of these, Doc, don't you? Yep. Oh, it's got something on the side, too. Nyok. Got the nyok on the one side. How about the other side? H Clover DVS. H Clay Clover. Man, that is a nice bottle. That is a real nice bottle, guys. That was really down in there, too. I'm not going to be able to clean it up right here, but it says New York. This is H. Clay Clover DVS, and then this side is Clover's Imperial Mange Remedy. And it looks whole, too. I don't see any cracks or anything like that in it. Real nice glow to it. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so that looks promising, doesn't it? Look at the size of this bottle. I don't know if there's going to be anything on it. It's, it's too big to be a wine. At least I think so. Yeah, let's work on it together. There's another one right there. Look at that. That's, that looks blue. Well, not blue, but uh, aqua. I guess you can call it aqua blue, right? Crayola. I'm not going to sue me for that. That might be like a Cherro Cola bottle or something right there. Maybe. Let me turn this here. I can see that too. We have to get that one out before we get to the big one. Is that a bottle under that too? That's at least glass under it. Yeah, glass, green glass. I get the knife. 
ね。Oh man, that one's broke. You can see it right there. Let's get it out anyway. Find out what it was. We have to get it out. Wheel. There's an unembossed soda of some sort. Some paper label or something. Alright, moving on. Let's get this big one out of here. bottle under there. Yeah, I think that one under there is broken. There you go. It wasn't a bottle, it's like an ashtray. More green glass. Alright, I can feel where, feel where it's starting around. There it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Is it whole? Can you guys see it? Is it whole? It's a jug. It's a jug, guys. Oh, man. Is it embossed? Full half, one and a half gallon. Got a little chip right there. Well, sure would have been nice. Still pretty nice looking. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Just because it doesn't say anything. All right. Thanks for sticking with me on it. We're working on trying to get this thing out. And you can see where this was sitting. It's back in there. Just popped it out. It says uh, it's an embossed one. It looks like just one of the regular plain meds. This one says uh, Dr. Price's delicious delicious flavoring extracts. Wonder what was so delicious. There's nothing on the sides, but still, pretty cool. It looks pretty clean too. Happy with it. Got a bottle shown right here. Hoping it's a soda at least. Hoping it's whole. <laughs> Is there one behind it too? There's, some, there's a bottle behind it for sure. But... Huh. Uh, the one behind it looks broken. Yeah. It's a pretty color though. It's broken. Let's see if we can't get this one out. It's broken. Oh man, that would have been nice. Crescent Grand Bottling Company. You see that? Six and a half ounce. Oh man, that would have been nice. The rest of it's in there too. Yep, there it is. There it is. Yeah, well. There it goes. Ha ha. At least I know I didn't break it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, let's keep going. There's my heartbreaker for the day. Nice arrow coat. Top's missing off of it. It's a shame. <sighs> let's go find a whole one. Doc's got a med chilling down there. Let's see what we got. I don't think it's embossed. I think it's going to be one of those unembossed, large unembossed pharmacies with just the me measurements. Very large med, not embossed. 
Yeah, with the measurements. It's pretty though. Yeah. Might turn purple on you. I think it will. Well, guys, we're out of here. Uh, here's Paul's cool little bottle here. We don't even know how this thing stands up, but anyway, we had quite a quite a good day uh, digging up stuff, and uh, Doc had a stellar day on the Caldwell Pepsins, pulling five of them out of here. So, um, until next time, guys, we'll see you then. Please like and subscribe, and take care.